When you receive the gloves, they are configured in what we call glove network mode. This means that one of the gloves acts as a Wi-Fi network and the other glove joins this network. It's convenient to use the gloves this way because it means that you don't need to use any external equipment. So, turn your gloves on by pressing the buttons and what you should notice is a pulse on the vibration motor and the LEDs start to flash. The white LED tells us about the network connection status for the gloves. It will flash until the gloves are connected. So make sure you see a solid white LED on both gloves. Then click on your Wi-Fi menulet icon and then you want to join the network that is a Mimu glove. Once you're on the same network, we can connect to the gloves. So I'm going to add a left Mimu glove and a right Mimu glove. When the device is created in Glover this way, it scans for the glove. If it finds it, it connects to it. If you want to disconnect at any point, you can click the connection icon like so. Glove network mode is a really convenient way to connect to the gloves, but it is more susceptible to interference and connection problems than an alternative that we would recommend if you are doing performances where you want to minimize any issues with Wi-Fi interference. This is what we call router network mode and it allows you to connect to the gloves through a router or an external access point. To configure for router mode what you do is you connect both gloves via USB to your laptop or computer. Then under devices you click on glove setup and a window will appear. When you click OK Glover will check the USB ports to see if it can find the gloves. If it finds both gloves, you'll see a window like this. If it only finds one or none of them, then check the USB connections and click scan again. When you've found both gloves, click continue, and then you're presented with two options. If at a later stage we want to go back to the glove network mode, we would click this button here. But in this case, I want to configure for a router. Now the router that I have here is called NGIMU network. So type in the name of the network in this box here and then the pass key to access that network below. And then click configure. So the network configuration will be sent to the gloves. What you should see is that both gloves start to flash the white LED. This is now, the gloves are now searching for the router network. So hopefully both White LEDs will shine solid after a short period, as they are now. And now we can reconnect over our external router network. Now I'm going to unplug the USB ports now. And I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi here. I'm connected to this router directly through an Ethernet connection, which is the arrangement that we would recommend for live performances. So the only Wi-Fi connection that you have is between the gloves and the router. Now I'm going to reconnect to the gloves. And now we're connected over the router and everything should work smoothly. There's a third way to connect to the gloves and that's over USB so you can have a completely wired connection. At the moment I'm connected by Wi-Fi and I'm using a router network. This means that the gloves connect to the router wirelessly and I connect to the router over Ethernet using a wired connection. This is the recommended performance setup. If I disconnect my Ethernet connection, we should see the network rate drop. I now disconnect. I'm now connecting individually from each glove to a USB socket on my machine. And then when I reconnect, Glover finds those USB connections and it uses them. If I reconnect the Ethernet connection, this means that there are two possible ways that I could connect to the gloves. The USB connection that's currently used or the Wi-Fi connection. If I disconnect and reconnect, Glover will always default to the last connection type that was used. But if I disconnect and I hold down control when I reconnect, Glover will present some options. And if there's more than one connection type available, you can choose between them. I'm going to choose Wi-Fi. This makes it really easy to switch between different connection types.